Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. Just come on with a project share. And Alexis is here, so you might hear in the hear hear her in the background. I can't talk today. Words are failing me. Yes. What's that? Someone's feet. I mean that. It's a watering can. Look what Alexis just found. She's sorting out my postcards and ephemera. Okay, so this is a project share, so this video won't go up until my partner receives it. It's a boho trashy junk journal flowish style swap. Did you get all that? Can I say something? Yes, you can say something, honey. She know she's when she does videos about stuff she's sending to the other person, she always wait till they've seen that it arrives and she uh, posts will put the video on YouTube. Yes, I don't think this lady's got a YouTube channel. She's up in Cairns. She's a fellow Australian. So this swap come about from Trashy Junk and Flourish Journals. I'll link the Facebook group below. So it was like a scavenger hunt, and I don't know. Oh, I might have my list. We had to put certain things in it. One tassel. Yes, we had to put a tassel in it. Thanks for reminding me, Alexis. Yes, I definitely remember. We had to put an elephant. One elephant, one tassel, five beads, one fabric, three by three inches minimum. Spice packaging, which I couldn't really find. She couldn't find one either. Um, it had to be at least 30 pages and at least 6 by 8 inches in size. So I think I've covered the brief. This is my tassel. I have done a video on my tassel of me making it and chatting. I will put that up eventually. So look out for that. And when it does go up, if I remember, I'll come and link it below. And these are my beads. It was going to be a beaded tassel to start with, but these are my recycled beads for her. So she can attach them to the edge of the album or she can take them apart they're only wired together we've got our brochure pile so far this high and that's only one tub alexa's sorting my brochures yes i have a bit that's of that's one tub and we've got like millions i have a bit of a compulsion when there's free brochures out that are cute or funny or different they come home we with like. me we like and sometimes alexis and i just go out and collect brochures to cut up it's fun yeah it's fun trying to find who who's got the best brochures because we're only really look, looking to use them in class or with well, in art journaling and stuff. Mom's doing right now. She's sending some brochures out. Yes, we're sorting some out to send with this parcel because I'm sending it via Officeworks in Australia. You can send up to, I believe it's up to five kilos for the same postage price, and it's about half the price of Australia Post. So we're going to take advantage of that five kilos and fill it up to about four point eight kilos. Make them do the work for their money. Okay, so elephant. I was in the op shop the other day and I found this. It's a very boho elephant. It's actually a cushion cover. I didn't know what to do with it. So my album's just going to be stuck in it. So it's going to be like the case. wrapping. Like a case, yes. So my partner can do whatever she wants with that. Mom, yes. About everything. Oh, wow. That's a huge stack. And you'll have... Oh, there's still like one or two. There's still like a few left, but it's all stuck in between books. Oh, okay. So this is my boho journal. I've got a beautiful big gold clip so the idea of a flourish journal if you've never seen one or heard of one it's a book of supplies you can take apart and use in other projects so it's not and bound it's together like, yes yeah like it's not stapled or sided together it's more just like a thread down the middle where you can slide it out Would wait is that that this one no this one's just slid in um oh. to undo the video i think my voice is going to be gone i'm struggling with a sore okay. throat um I'll do some of the talking. Um, so I made it out of recycled cardboard and I painted the cover. Well, this is I'm a done. beautiful big gold clip. I found Boho to be very bold, very gold, very, I don't know, over Bright. the top. Bright. But excuse the brown, that was the only thick ribbon I had. It was a bit of bias binding I had. So a lot of this is recycled. So you undo the ribbon. This is just like tied That's on. Thick paste. I was getting to that. You jumped the gun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mum has a stencil like this and she... And she used it with texture paste then I think painted it? Yes. So I've done a video on the cover. I may tack it at the end of this video. I may put it up separately. I'm not sure. And excuse my voice. I must get this done because it has to go in the mail. So you're just going to have to put it up with my rotten voice. So it's, Hi, I'm doing my sort of talking here. So it's come out quite junky. So it's just, I'll just show you the ribbon on the outside. It's just bound together with a recycled ribbon. Isn't that the one on the package that had like the shampoo and stuff in it? Yes? <laughs> You're telling my secrets now. I just, I'm asking you a question. And it's got a binder clip down here. Do you know why the binder... Yes, do you know why the binder clip's there? Because it all flew apart. No. You didn't have this... enough to go to the end to tie a bow. No. What? <laughs> this is a beautiful bow that came off, so I slipped it off the package and it was too big for the loop, so I've like 
wrapped it over and over and over and stuck the binder clip on because I didn't want to undo the beautiful bow. I have to retie it. Okay, let's look inside. So this brochure? is a brochure. So I thought this is very boho Indian. And it's got like a clip up the top here and a bit of fabric on it. And then Babies. it's got some birdies clipped on it. So not a lot of the papers are boho, but I sort of ran out of... Isn't that my thing from my dream catcher package? Could be, but that was put in the craft. Can I send that to my friend? Um, or do you want it back? I can take it out. We'll just have to edit this bit of the video out so she doesn't know we've taken it out. <laughs> well, it was, you, did, you, you determined it to be rubbish, so I go, oh, that's pretty, and I put it in my box to use. Pretty. So we've got some scrapbook paper. From Mum says she has millions of them. That's actually from Aldi scrapbook pads. That's what I meant, Stas. Oh. This is a printed sheet a from... A kit that a person sent us? Yeah, this is from Red Deer Printables. But I had a problem with my printer. Some of my ink colours weren't were running out. No, before. Because when I did it, we got perfect colours. Yes, yeah, so my inks are running out and I didn't realise. So these are the off printed colours. It's supposed to be a lot more green. So I think my blue ran out. Sort of like uh, aqua, aqua. Yes. Um, well, aqua is blue, but still. More like what? that colour it's yeah. supposed to be. So I thought I'd include these. They're still beautiful pages, but I thought I'd hand them on. Um, I'm terrible with my printer. It says low on ink. I go, yeah, yeah. It says low on ink. I go, yeah, yeah. Six I print, minutes. I print a few more pages here. We're waffling, aren't we? So, and I actually replace the ink cartridge when it fully runs out, which is probably not a good idea. Okay, Alexis's dream packaging. Uh, from... Yeah, I got it I got... Christmas from Mum, didn't I? Easter. Easter from Mum. It was Mom. in her Easter basket. This is... Firstly, she served it to me in a washing basket. I didn't have an Easter basket big enough. <laughs> she gave me heaps of stuff. Yes. So, and cheat about it. So this is a clock. Um, Isn't that from a magazine? That is from a magazine. Sand, scanned and printed from a magazine. It's got a peacock on the other side. We'll show you. So this has just been... Oh, Reused by you. This is a denim pocket from one of my pants. I thought that was rather cool. I'm going to put the butterfly on. This is a printed jelly sheet. A jelly printed sheet. And, and on, that's the bit of goodies clipped onto it. And some tags that mum cut. And that's out of the exercise folder. And that's probably something she brought. That's something I bought, it's fabric tags, so I thought I'd good. pass that on, a little pocket, that ginormous clip is from Daiso. I like this one. These are some printed paper dolls that I've made. I like this one. Yes. So I like to make my paper dolls out of things from magazines. Yeah, like she does uh, a normal head, but like a different body. She did a hairbrush body once. Look. And then I like to scan them and print them. My voice is not going to last. Um, That's why I'm talking. Writing paper, a napkin. The Other one of the packages of from kit. Red Deer Printables that didn't yeah. print properly. Uh, jelly plate. Printed jelly plate. Sometimes I scan them on the computer map. and print them out. Some map from an old deconstructed book. Now we had to include at least one piece of pa fabric that was three by three inches. He has like this thing but left. This was samples that I picked up at a reusable store. I could have got it at an op shop. Yes, and it was quite thick, so I put about. No, it's literally this thick right now. Yes. So I put a bunch of these in. You can see the paper on the back. I've tried to remove the paper from other ones, but it doesn't come off. Just So you can die cut through this or use it. And they just slipped in because I couldn't find a way of binding those in. Another piece from a recycled book, a needlecraft book I took apart. Another piece from the Red Deer printables that didn't print properly. Uh, the cartoonies and a brochure um, and small material and a map. And I'm going to shut up now. Exactly what Alexa said. I love this material, it's gorgeous. Yeah, she has, some more photocopied more paper, some handmade peacock Do paper. That's a napkin. No, that's a handmade paper. That's a napkin. It's not a napkin, it's a handmade paper. Let me keep going before my voice totally cacks and it. And there's a girl stamp on the picture of the page. And hopefully by the time this video goes live, my voice is better, but at the moment it's cactus. This is book pages with stamps on them. That's I what did. I said. I did a lot of these when my ink, my printer was running out of ink, so you can see slight lines in it, um, but it still works. Another piece another of another piece from the kit. Red door, red deer printables. Um, some more goodies and uh, blue, and I think some more tags that I cut out for her. So some tags from some food packaging. Well, half of the yeah, the food packaging I cut cut out. Yes, Alexis cut credit. out. I am trying, voice failing, some fluffy bits. Another 
piece from Red Door Printable. So I've only got one signature in here, so you see the back of them. Um, oh, this is envelope with some cutouts fine. and some tissue paper scraps. So I won't pull everything out. This is with different coloured lips, but they all look about exactly the same, except for the lip colours. This was from a magazine. It's been printed on my computer. Um, another envelope with oh, these I made. Um, What's that? Little one-inch paper squares with epoxy dots used on the to top. Sell them. I used to sell those. I don't decorate a paper cup. Another What's sheet. That? Another sheet out of my recycled mm. book. Some more um, material. Cut that for you. That's part of the tissue mm. box. Mm. I just like the design. It's not really boho. This is sort of uh, I don't know. I was struggling to the end of finding things. Whoops, that's nearly coming off. So I thought that was a bit boho y. That little envelope with things in it. Oh, it's got some more. Um, Another word for. These are from the Red Deer Bo Printables. Bohemian. Bohemian. Very bright. And some birds and things. So I'll just stick that in there. What's and this? I did that. What's this, Alexis? Since my mum wouldn't let me sew on any clothing, only a pillowcase, so I wanted something different. So I asked her for some black paper since we only had white and black thread and white thread was threaded in the machine. And I can't thread the machine, but mum can, so she's very annoyed at me just having to thread it for one job. Short version, Alexis was practicing on the sewing machine. Hey! So I thought that's fun to include. You can cut it up. Another photocopy jelly print. Some stencils I had. You'll see them on the other Mine. side. Mine? What's mine? I had that in a package with the doll punchyardy thing. Oh no, this is from wrapping. Um, this is from writing paper I got. That's not yours. I have something like that. I didn't steal it. I promise this time. Good. Some more fabric, some book pages. I thought this image was very Ooh. boho y. It's definitely. from a um, definitely brochure we picked up in Melbourne. So, and I just love the orange. There's a couple more pages of that. We love to go brochure hunting. We in love Melbourne. to go brochure hunting. This is a map for the Archibald Prize. This is really cool. Hang on, I'm just going to pull this out. I love the colours of the purple and orange Envelope. of this. Yeah, wait one second. And then it's got um, pictures on the other side. So that was really cool. A security envelope. Hang on, I've got to put this back. My voice is going. Yeah, and you're not even halfway through the book. Recycled book, security envelope. Let's quicken up then. Oh, this is packed with goodies. More little things, Alexis. I cut. cut. Oh look, I got I got one away from it. Alexis. Hey, that was I from, got two. That was from the bonbons Alexis got for Easter, and I do apologise about my voice. It must she be terrible me, like, trying to listen to me. She brought me like packets of small bonbons with stickers in them that had rabbits on them. Was it I ten? Like her it was for that. three. Some stamped images. I love her for that. I believe they're photocopied. Um, what else have we got? Some coins. Coins that looks really boho from a book. Some more tags, some postcards, some more paper, some handmade embellishments down here. Um, some more fabric. Now you'll see the back side, the back sides, <laughs> the other side. We shouldn't call it back sides. The other side of all the papers. Pitchy. This is a Brad, so I've just put it. Stop me not touch it. Sorry. Touch away, fondle away, Alexis. As you can tell, we're in a really silly mood. Not a good day to do a video. We're sick. Yeah, we're sick of being sick. Went to the doctor today, and what do you say? Don't put your cold hands on me. He said viral infection. Just put up with it, girls. And it's like, oh. And he said to mummy, ex I quote exactly, you have about two more weeks of coughing and da, da, da. Not coughing so much, but I've got a swollen. He did say what it was. It's not tonsillitis, swollen. Uh, something or other. Hem? Something? I don't know. No idea. Something swollen in my throat. And apparently it's going to last for another two weeks, how big it is. So. And he didn't even to specify what I have. No, you've just got mother -itis. You're annoying your mother. Um, let's nah. get back to this. Material. Material. Back uh, of piece of paper. This is the back of the stencils. I wanted mum to attach this to the front of the jean. It'd oh, cool. I didn't. So having a great day. These are some Heidi Swap ones I had left over from my business, so I thought I'd throw those in. So, um, and that's the other end of my needed page. So this was something I found oh. in my stash. Sorry, I grabbed your hair. Yes. That was the packaging for the Heidi Swap label. So some things are just thrown in here. They're not looped in because they wouldn't fit. Excuse my phone. Other side of the is a sewing page. Tags. Other side of the tissue box. That's the other Tags. side of that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
So these are little pockets with tags in. The pockets are from Audi last year. I thought the colours worked well with a huge paper clip from Daiso. Just the other sides of the papers. This is from the inside of a roll of wrapping paper instead of being a cylindri cylindrical roll. A round circle roll. It was just like this curled up. I apologise for my mother. She's very silly when she's sick. Oh, my head hurts. Um, I think mine does. Some tags with holes cut out of them and some little bling and some... These are just attached with brads. Um, this I thought was I awesome. I put that right out. Yeah, this is a double page again from a festive lounge, a magazine we picked up. Why not up. fold it inwards? I didn't want to crease it. House of Mirrors. Oh, that was a Bendigo thing. Um, but it was like 40 bucks to go in there. It was ridiculous. Other side of the Red Deer printables. Yes. Other sides, other sides. Yes, Alexis is tapping. What are you tapping on? That's another Brad that I've connected. No. What? I've got loads more of those no. in my stash. Alexis no. doesn't see a lot of things until I put them in a journal Hi. and then goes, I want that. I want it. Ow. I've got more of those somewhere and some lace and some more things. I like the idea of just putting them onto a brad. This is the back of a map of a Bendigo. I thought that would be cool. Material. More material. I've got loads of that material. More of the red different printables. Music. Music note. Map. Map from a book. Jelly print. More jelly prints. More napkins. Yeah. So I'm hoping it's boho enough. That's the other side of my paper, paper people. More jelly prints. This peacock. peacock. I've used that in an art journal page. It's really cool. Butterflies. This is from the paper roll Can as well. Can you do it? Can you do what? Hang on, just it's gonna spew everywhere. It's just gentle. So the inside of the cardboard, this is a cardboard box Alexa's got some art and craft thing in. I've just done greeny blue with just the gold. So I didn't want to completely do the cover. I thought my partner would like to embellish it more or leave it the way it is. Um and that's it. And I think we go before my voice sounds terrible and everyone leaves my subscriber list because I sound like hell. How about that? Only for two more weeks. Oh, if I have to suffer like this for two more weeks. Alexis loves it. I can't yell at her. So she's getting a lot of this. Finger. Finger wagging. So let's say goodbye. And she's jumping up and down because she knows I can't yell at her. Let's say goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. People and I do apologise. I do apologise about my voice, but life is life. Oh, and you will probably think we're crazy. That's what everyone else thinks. No, they think you're crazy. They think I'm nice. No, they think I'm cute. Yeah, you are for 10 minutes on film. I've got to put up with you for the other 23 hours and 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I think we will depart. Good, I felt... Chocolate time. Yeah. Yay! So in this last part of the video, I filmed how I've made the cover. It's a cardboard box. I think Alexis got something in the box, some craft activity or something. Um, so I cut the box down, cut the flaps off. So it was like the book I wanted. And then I actually tore off the shiny printed um, paper and it left like the raw cardstock. So now I'll just grab one of my stencils that I sell in my store. Not sure whether that one's on the website yet. Yes, yeah, so I'm still talking about doing that big website upgrade. June and July in my months, maybe. Life has other ideas lately. So just scraping texture paste across um, the box with a credit card because that's the easiest way to do it. And I'm doing the same design on the front and the back. And I've decided to... There I am just smoothing out, because I put text to paste, um, I wanted the whole design, I went off the stencil purposely off the edge and it sort of left a bump, so I wanted to sort of smooth that down so it wasn't so much of a pronounced bump, more like it's sort of a little ramp sort of coming up to the text to paste. So as you can tell my voice is a lot better, this is a few weeks later, my throat's still annoying me a little but I'm not losing my voice as much. Hoping that part of it's gone. Don't you love all the bugs you get lately that just love you too much and want to stick around? And any throat bug I get, I just lose my voice. It's just what my body does. So I dried all that texture paste. Um, I went off camera and dried it so it didn't take a long time. 
so there's a very thin layer and now I'm adding a I think that's a Montmark magenta paint like a well almost like a maroon color um, I thought that was a good bohemian color so just adding that over the texture paste and over the gesso the reason I just sewed the box is to see a to seal it and B to um, allow me to use less paint if I hadn't have gessoed it the paint would have sunk in very well so just trying to get a good old coverage on the box over the design as well because I am going to come back later with a bit more um, a bit of gold and a touch up so you can see that texture paste a bit more the box took a bit more paint than I anticipated it was really even with the gesso it was taking a load of paint some projects do that so I hope everyone's going well we've had a flourish of lots of subscribers coming on the last couple of weeks which is fantastic do a huge variety of videos from junk journaling to hopefully a bit more scrapbooking a lot of art journaling and my um, 10 year old daughter um, joins me on the channel occasionally so I finished off the back and here I am this is the inside so I decided to do the inside sort of a green jady green color and then I add some gold highlights to that as well so these are Montmark paints so they're good quality sort of good quality student grade um, acrylic paints um, Montmark, you usually can find those in a lot of your cheapy shops here in Australia. And then they run about $4 a tube. Um, and they're nice and opaque. I must have cut out and not done the rest of that. So here we are just giving um, dry brushing. Again, this is a Montmark um, paint. Just dry brushing with the gold ink just to add the highlights and just add a bit of interest trying to catch all the raised areas of the texture paste and I apologize if you can hear a bit of background noise I do have my heater running because it's 10 30 at night it's a little bit cold here in Australia we're coming into our winter or oh, we're well and truly into our winter now in July so just dry brushing all over the um, medallion pattern in the middle <laughs> And then I go and add some lines um, of sort of gold as well. When you're doing this with a dry brush, it gives it a um, different effect. You can um, sort of brush off most of the paint and just have a really light coat and get really good effects, which is what I'm doing. Um, if the brush goes out of film, it's just rubbing on some drop paper so that I don't have as much paint on the brush. I'm just going over and getting as much coverage as I'd like. I had fun doing this. I do like making album covers from scratch. It's fun. I tend to keep a variety of boxes for just that purpose. So I decided to give that a good old dry with the heat tool. The dry brushing doesn't take much, um, or doesn't take long to dry because it is a, a super duper thin layer of paint. Then I decided to do the same sort of thing on the inside just to give it a bit of interest and depth. The dry brushing of the gold over the green. When I was googling boho, I found the gold and metallics are represented quite heavily in that sort of genre or theme, so I thought that worked really well. I sped this up about three times. Gee, I wish my hand moved that quickly. Normally, I'd get so much more done. <laughs> uh, my partner has received this swap now, so I'm free to upload it on YouTube. And this is part three. If you haven't gone and seen part one and part two, it's making the beaded tassel and a very chunky tassel as well. If I remember, I will link those below. I often say that in videos and then I totally forget to link below. So I just decided to add some washi tape down the spine just to, just because I could. 
So I tend to, when I'm adding washi tape over painted surfaces, I like to add a bit of matte gel medium below the washi tape. Just as the washi tape is a low tack adhesive and sometimes it doesn't adhere properly to the paint, especially acrylic paint, because acrylic paint is a bit plasticky sometimes. So I decided to put some down the outside of the spine. Is my head getting in the way? And then I add some random bits as well. I do like to coat over the um, the tape with the matte gel medium as well, and it really seals it in place. So that's a bit of a tip. If you have um, washi tape and it keeps coming off, just add a bit of glue, um, any sort of glue underneath, wet glue, or even a glue stick will work as well. So just adding a bit of decoration. I didn't want to fully decorate the cover. I thought I would get it to this stage and then my partner could decorate it more if they wanted to or they could cut the box up and use it as pieces or turn it into a full album. I like a few different options when I receive things so that's what I did for my swap partner as well. So just adding a little bit of washi to the inside and making sure those ends are sealed down quite nicely. And that's about it. So thank you very much for watching this lovely swap and I will catch up with you again very soon.